Lord March and the Goodwood team knew that the festival needed the involvement of the Formula One teams to make progress. Even for fans who had seen and heard Formula One cars many times before, the spectacle of the motorsports elite on the hill was very, very special. Formula One is the pinnacle of motorsport. And of course, that is what your dyed in the wool motorsport enthusiast wants to see and to hear. Because to be on the start line, and I have been there many, many times at the Festival of Speed, and you're standing alongside a Formula One car, and the driver gives it maximum welly and assaults your eardrums, and it disappears in a flash up the hill, is an incredible experience. With the festival's reputation growing year on year, the Formula One teams really began to take notice. And by 1997, representation was growing, a sure sign that Goodwood was well and truly on the map. Uh, hear that engine uh, revving away here is, you know, uh, the best thing. Of course, at the, uh, at the very beginning, Charles was, as always, very uh, persuasive. Um, uh, after the event, I could I, I looked back and I thought, how on earth did he convince us to take so many cars and, and, and take a Formula One car uh, up the hill? Today, Goodwood remains the only place away from the Formula One circuits that you'll see the teams come together. In 2008, Lewis Hamilton was in pursuit of the Formula One title and was given a massive amount of support by the Goodwood fans. But in 2009, the place went wild as Lewis returned to the hill as Formula One world champion. Every year it gets uh, even better, and the reception you have here is phenomenal. But coming back as world champion with number one of the car, it's, it's a very, very special experience for us. The very next year, it was Jensen Button who returned as champion a moment that the Englishman really threw himself into. Now driving for McLaren, Jensen got the chance to jump in the car that was raced by one of his great heroes. I'm in this car behind, which is uh, Alan Pross World Championship winning car in 1986, the MP4 2C. For me, it's, it's a great experience to drive something that he used to race in the 80s. It's noticeable that a lot of the young Formula One drivers you know, the Vettels and the Hamiltons and the Buttons of this world. They've met some of their predecessors here. And to hear them talking to one another and exchanging experience and exchanging views and so on is actually um, very educational. And it's educational on both sides, I think. They all want to be there, they all enjoy it. They all enjoy the interaction with the fans, um, you know, the closeness of the spectators. And of course, driving some cars that they've, they've never sat in before. I think. You know, last uh, year, um, Sebastian Vettel attended and he uh, had a great chat with um, John Surtees and even had a sit on his motorbike. Just to see them in, uh, in real life, you know them from the screen and, and from pictures, but uh, yeah, it's, it's great. You can touch them and, you know, chat up the people and uh, it's, it's great. Sebastian came over and wanted to know all about the bike and was very enthusiastic and th this is the nice thing about it. 